Okay, I am going to make a magnesium spray slash mist. So I thought maybe you guys would like to make it with me. Um, this is the kind of magnesium chloride I purchased. I got it off of Amazon. It was super affordable. So the instructions say to use a heaping tablespoon um, and put it into about three and a half ounces or so of distilled water. So here's my heaping tablespoon and I'm just, I've already got about three and a half ounces of distilled water in here and then you just dump the magnesium flakes and you let it start dissolving. Some people say it needs to be um, heated up but the lady that I follow that uses it and sells it said it does not and I think it just melts. Yeah it melts really fast so it's already starting to dissolve. Okay, I've just been stirring this for a few seconds and it's already like, I mean, there's a few flakes down there in the bottom, but it's mostly completely dissolved. No more flakes, just magnesium chloride spray. So now it calls to put it in a four ounce bottle, but I accidentally got two ounce bottles. So I'm going to divide it into two. And I'm just gonna do this. Well, I've got this little funnel doohickey. Maybe I should use it. Uh, here, here. Okay. All right, now that I have my magnesium in, um, you should use a carrier oil. The chloride in the magnesium chloride flakes, it opens up your blood, blood cells and allows the um, magnesium to um, directly, you know, absorb into your bloodstream. So you can actually experience a little bit of stinging um, for a while. That's what I've heard. So um, I have castor oil on hand. Um, seed oils can cause some inflammation. So this is cold pressed, organic, hexane free um, castor oil. And I am just gonna add just a little bit. It says just like one to two ounces. Um, so I'm just gonna add about probably about a half an ounce to these. Okay, and then you'll just shake them up before you use them. That way it's all evenly distributed. Um, I'll be spraying this on the bottoms of my feet at night. I will be spraying it uh, in my armpits as a natural deodorant. Um, supposedly that once your magnesium levels are um, adequate and restored, your body odor kind of goes away. So um, that's an exciting um, side effect, benefit that I'm looking forward to. Um, so I'm just gonna try it right now with you guys. I'm also gonna put it on the bottom of my feet right now. I just got out of the shower like 30 minutes ago or so. I think it's recommended that you put this on like immediately after the shower. It absorbs better. Okay, so I'll report back and let you guys know how I like it, but um, I made one for me and one for a friend, and I might even start using it on dad. <laughs>